is going on, everybody? Corey here. Welcome back to Fly Casual. Hey, guess what? It's news and toys tonight, and we've got Mando news aplenty. That's right. We're going to be talking about The Mandalorian, but we're also going to be talking about M9 titles. What? What is it? I don't know. Maybe I'm listening. Maybe we know. Is that like audio clickbait? How does that work? You know, you won't believe what happens next on Fly Casual. Let's get ready to ring call! February. Get them out of your throats while you can. We're in Indiana. Ribbit. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, hey, you guys uh, You guys remember when it was like 53 degrees at like 6 o'clock yesterday evening? <laughs> yep. Yeah, that and was awesome. And then how at 645 it was like 12 degrees. You remember that? Yep. Classic. This place is broken. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. It's the movie mm-hmm. The Day After Tomorrow, but like stretched out over the course of years. That's what I've decided. <laughs> <laughs> I need Jake Gyllenhaal to save me. He was in there, right? Oh, man. Yeah. So <clears> yeah, one of those. Yeah, one of the, one of them Gyllenhaal. One, well, or one of them disaster movies. And yeah, sure which one? Let's see. It could have been The Rock. It could have been Tommy Lee Jones. It yeah. wasn't The Rock because a major metropolitan city didn't get destroyed. No, uh, well, actually, a lot it? of major metropolitan cities got <laughs> destroyed in that one, man. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they dropped snow on the whole eastern seaboard. Not Everything. snow. Lots of it, though. Like like many snows, Ma- could, many um, much snow. Not it, it blizzard snow. Helen Hunt, you know. Was Helen Hunt in that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's in Twister. She was? She in another one? Just uh, Twister. Oh, wait a minute. She was in As Good As It Gets. That's it. That's a, that's oh, yeah. A, so, yeah. wait. T- tornadoes. Movie. How about the... Wait. Isn't there the meteor disasters, too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Frodo. Frodo counts because yeah. he was in Deep yeah. Impact. And Deep then Impact. Bruce Willis and or Ben Affleck and or Steve Buscemi, Buscemi and or uh, whoever else was in... That other asteroid movie that came out within like two months of the other yeah, asteroid. Armageddon. Impact. Armageddon. Armageddon. That's it. Yeah. You don't know Armageddon, bro? I have seen that movie once. Do you even it? Armageddon, bro? Once was enough. Man, I'm talking like I remember in school people passing around that VHS like it was on fire. It was yeah. ridiculous. And I'm like, yeah. no, thank you. Yeah, because didn't Ben Affleck died, man. Or no. They had Aerosmith Bruce, Bruce Willis, Aerosmith. Willis Aerosmith. sacrifice Aerosmith. himself. Died for Ben Affleck to live. Ben Affleck could be that was the Liz worst Tyler could ever. continue living on in <laughs> happiness with Ben Affleck. And he became Batman and killed a bunch of people, so it all oh, worked man. out. That's right, as Batman he, does. And then he retired. Mm-hmm. And is no longer Batman. Is that our breaking news story to kick off this podcast? <laughs> ben right. Affleck, yeah. Yeah. Batman. Yeah. Batman. yeah. That's it. No longer Batman. You remember when, See you like, later. Remember when like a year ago, Mike was like, hey, Ben Affleck's not going to be Batman. And we're like, Mike, that was clickbait. It's a Rick roll. You watch Rick roll. You remember that? <sighs> yeah, I do. I and do. Then, but now it's yeah. real. It's it is like real. you were right all along. I but click right. it again. Click it again, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> click it. See if it changed. That's right. Yeah, you got to click all the links to be sure. All links. Never going to give. Never going to give. I saw I saw a, a post on the front page of Imager. Oh, no. It was just some sheet music. And someone oh. said, hey, someone gave me the sheet music, but doesn't have a title on it, and, and there were no words. And it's like, can anybody help me identify this sheet? It was like piano music. It was never going to give you up. Nice. He got Rick rolled well, visually. All these people. Gotcha. No, no. The dude was Rick rolling the internet. And, and the people gotcha. were like, yeah, top comments were like, this is some high level shiz right here. <laughs> 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 that is, that, this, this is meta. This is going deep. So yeah. speaking of going deep, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Fly Casual. We go real deep. How deep? Uh, so, so deep. So deep. Balls deep. That <laughs> he said well, it. He that is said not. It. What, I did. That is not what I was going to say. <laughs> For the record. No, yes. sir. No. <laughs> not in a million years. No, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Corey. Over there is uh, the Ed McMahon to my very poorly styled impression of uh, of Dana Carvey doing an impression. Of Johnny Carson, <laughs> Mr. Michael R- J. Archibald. I have not had a single drink tonight yet. I know. What? You've been so busy. Dude. I, yeah. Yeah. It's been one of those nights, man. <laughs> long long need, work day. Happy with, Yeah. You know, if it cheered you up a little bit, I should let you know your, you know, your wedding video and pictures and stuff yeah. on the Facebook. Yeah. My wife has told me no less than four <laughs> times yeah. this week that they're there. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Go watch it, dude. And I'm like, you've told me this. <laughs> Are they there? She loves it. She's told me over and over again as if I still don't know. <laughs> so she is. She's she's fanatical about them, apparently. Yes, it turned out well. So well done there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well done. Well done, you. Speaking of uh, speaking of family making, over there is Mr. Stephen J. Howie of Master Control. <laughs> well, you know, I got, a, I got a serious question for you guys. Okay. Oh, geez. Um, Six is too much, if oh, that's what you're going to ask. It. Dang it. <laughs> Pee in the mouth or poop in the nose? Oh! Yep. Would you rather have poop stuck in... No, yeah. Would you rather have pee in, the poop in your mouth or poop in your nose? Poop in the nose. Would you rather? I would say pee in the mouth. You'd rather because... have pee in the nose? Yeah, yeah. hands down. Techn- yeah, technically, it's it's germ-free, so technically speaking. Well, it's not necessarily your pee. I know. I get it. It, it could be someone else's, like, like pee, with, pee like, some serious I get diseases. it. I, it doesn't matter. I mean... It could be, like, so way, yellow, it's beer Fecal looking. matter is going to have way more disease in it. I just feel like it's poop true. isn't going to make me gag. Poop in my nose isn't going to make me gag as hard as pee in my mouth. So if, like, you could do, like, the one nostril cannon and get most of it out, well, then no, you're just dealing with the scent of it for a little while. Well, no, How can, much pee in the mouth? But what it's still close to your eyes. But the thing is, you can't get rid of it. Either way, it's going to stay in there forever. What? You didn't say that. Okay. Well, then I'm All putting right, a bullet in my brain. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you walk into a bathroom and uh, you're at at Wrigley Field, and like there's like uh, like thunder claps outside. Everybody jumps and is startled. And s- you just walked in and you feel pee dribble on, in, into your open Dude. mouth. See now, just and you don't even know for who. Hold from. on. There's hold 30 on. guys lying in that trough, Why both sides really feel? staring at each other awkwardly in the yeah, and, because and, they're the most awkward troughs. On the face you, of the earth. You look at everybody's junk pretty look, much. Look, when you when that, you brought uh, this up, I thought we were looker. talking about babies. Like your baby <laughs> pees what? on you or something. No. Well, no. No. Yeah. Well, no. No. You're talking about big sausage eating Chicagoans? Yeah. 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 Big, big I, uh, uh, beef eating Chicago. I'm, I'm not into that. Like you guys talk about beer this. and 50 percent sausage. So, oh no, piece. Wrigley Field, and now I've got like uh some some random person. I don't know who there's so many dudes standing here what with their poop went flying out your nose in there too. So well, that's the thing. You guys are some Sick bathroom. Or you walk into Wrigley Field bathroom and someone is really startled, and you, you're like, "Oh man, I suddenly have something in my nose, and it smells like poop." Oh no, oh it's no, poop in your nose. What's worse? What's worse? Nope. Well, I just, poop, you guys just told me it was forever and ever. You can't ever get it out. The poop? No, you you, you, you can get it out of there. Body works things out. My body expelled a splinter the Look, other day. It's still pee, man. <laughs> Sorry, it's still when it comes green? down to it. <laughs> it's pee and fecal matter. Well, speaking of pee and fecal matter, across pond and down a few is Mr. Garrick, not Jay Hardy. What's that supposed to mean? Not a thing, man. Call me pee and poop. Across no. the pond. Nice. No, you no. just said speaking of it. Speaking of it. Yeah, they played what, it. What, you don't pee and poop? Are you the one guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. Garrick, everybody yeah. poops. Yeah. What about people Everybody with a colostomy bag? Does that poops. count? They still poop. That's still poop. But That's, if you're not actually just, squeezing it out, the 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 natural doesn't matter. It's still poop. It's still poop at the I end guess. of the day. But but poop but if it's poop. just it's just going through your system and falling out. I know you're I, not actually pooping. It doesn't need to go through a sphincter. Just ridding itself. Poop. It doesn't well, need to go yeah. through a sphincter to be poop. You are pooping. Yeah. No, it's, it's poop. Like, you're still pooping. Okay. It's pooping. Like so lava, let's say, right? all right, all right, hypothetical. Okay, we need to if stop this. You, have, <laughs> you have a bowel disease and the doctor said you need a bowel transplant. They got to take all the poop out and put someone else's poop in. That's a real thing. Okay? When they take the poop out of you and you're cut open on the table and you're, you know, they've got like the basketball hoop holding your gut open and they pull the poop out, did you just poop? Yep. Yeah. No. Yep. Um, no, you guys are. I'm done with this podcast. You guys are dead to me. Well, the, you're using it as a verb, right? It's I'm still using a it as a verb. Poop, pooping. Yeah. You said Mike said everybody poops, and I'm saying I don't know that I believe that everybody has poops. That I, I can agree to that. You have to poop to be able to live. Now, what about the people who are in comas and they're just hooked up to uh, an IV? They you have to be poop. able to poop to live. Do they still poop? They nope. Poop. Actually, yeah. probably not. Yeah, I don't pee. think they do. You you have to. I think they pee. Yep. You we have to adjust. A, we really need someone with a medical degree on the Star Wars podcast. Welcome right. back, ladies and gentlemen, Flight Casual, episode That's number 213. Us. Yep. 213. And you know it's mm-hmm. 213 because it is our 213 time talking about poop. That's double unlucky. Yeah. Yeah. 213s. That's right. Yeah. The, uh, or does it cancel each other out? Oh, it could. Yes, 
It could. I'm okay with that, actually, as a matter of fact. Um, you know, I hate to put Mike to work right away because I'd rather get see work, him get Mike. schnockered while what? we talk Who? about fecal matter huh? some more. Because Mike's more fun when he's drunk. But it's time to talk about some Star Wars news. Look at him adjusting himself in his seat and stuff like that. Mike's, yeah, Mike's I don't know just, if I'm ready for this. Mike's just not a, uh, he, he casts better when he's had a few. <laughs> okay, oh, give me a second. A Let me catch up. Okay. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh. and chug, down chug, the hatch. Chug. That was P. Ha <laughs> gotcha. Yep. All right. It was clear because That's a Eric is exceptionally well hydrated. I know. I drink a lot of water. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. Yep. Ready to Episode go nine in the news this <gasps> week, boys. No. What? Yes. I love that trailer we got during the big game. <laughs> 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 the trailer and you, that uh, title. That title's just been amazing. That title's Bowl amazing, say. isn't it? We can joke all we want. The day before this podcast goes up, they'll release the title. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because this podcast probably won't be released for about four or five weeks. So, <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> the way my go life's down. been going. <sighs> Never mind that now. Never mind that. What's going on with Ep9? Ep9 title is all the talk of the town. All over the that internet. That is the, the worst Star the Wars town. title I've ever heard. Mm. <laughs> mm. Star Wars. <laughs> Episode the ta- 9. The the did, you go the to the, did you go to the title's dilettante ball? Did you go there? Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Right, which, which one of the new series out. do you Stepping like out. best? My favorite is T.O.T.T. What? I don't know what we're talking about. Talk of the town. Remember, because we always reduce, we just do the yeah. first letter, like R-O-T-J. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Huh. Ep9, Talk Ep9, of the Town. Ep9. Nobody Why knows is the title the Talk of the Town? Nobody knows the title of this thing, and everybody's theorizing and speculating what it might be. The two that have kind of <clears throat> risen to the top in terms of speculation. First, Son of Darkness. What? Yep. And the other, Ew. Balance of the Force. Ooh, that was a good one. I like that one. I like that one because it's, it implies that, balance. It implies the that force. there's a, a that the the whole bring balance to the force thing will actually come full circle from Ep yeah. one all the way through. Now, I, I have to say right that there. makes. <clears throat> I mean, I don't. I mean, balance of the force. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm it's not, not groundbreaking, but right. it's also not cheese ball. But, like, Attack of the clone. But I agree with you. To me, balance of the force feels like a conclusion. Mm-hmm. But plus, we call it boff. Yeah, there you go, dude. Boff's so my okay. favorite. Love boff. <laughs> You guys want to watch some boff? Yeah, let's go boff. <laughs> let's go boff, guys. Let's go. Let's go down in my basement and boff. <laughs> yeah, dude. We'll, we'll boff, boff that. something fierce. Yeah, be boffing left go, and right. I could boff all night long. Mm-hmm. Back Lots back of boffins boff. will die to bring us that experience. <laughs> yeah, Verda. they will. <laughs> <laughs> now that feels like I said. That feel to me, it feels like a conclusion. Now, Son of Darkness. I mean, if that was like, if that was like Ep Eight title, okay. Right. But Son of Darkness doesn't feel like a rap <laughs> to me, you know? Or no. does it? <laughs> it? I don't know. Some people are saying Son of Darkness could be Kylo Kylo and Bray's son, I guess. But still, <laughs> I mean, what? So we leave we leave the end of the Star Wars saga in darkness? I, it is that Why not? Yeah, dude. To me. That's no, fitting. Yeah. There you go. It is. I like, it's fitting. Up. Actually, I like the very beginning of the movie. Uh, Ray's just walking along. She's training some baby Jedis, and she suddenly gets sick and has to go through them. And she has to go to uh, Kilgall because <laughs> I've decided oh, that Kilgall is still the Jedi. Back. Still the Jedi doctor, and Kilgall is like, Somehow. "Hey, you're preggers," and she's like, "What? How did that happen? I ain't been with Force. no dudes, right?" The Force. And it was Kylo. He pulled. A, he pulled a uh, an old fashioned on he her. Did it through the force. Impregnated her. That's sicko. Mm. What a sicko. Wow. And that there. I actually never thought Son of Darkness would be anything other than Kylo. To be honest with you. Yeah, but it, it still mm. doesn't make sense to me. No, no, it's not a good title. But I mean, nah. we've had worse. Well, I sure hope it's not Finn. That'd be racist. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it would be. He raises an excellent point. From an academic perspective, interpretation of Garrick's statement. Look, it's not ac- Garrick, it's Star Wars. That's right. I don't know. I'm just saying I hope it's not, because that would be bad. <laughs> yeah. 
So I, that's an implication. I'm going to have another they drink. They probably should think through before they name it that. I just pulled a mic. I might, I might need three or four of these. See, when Mike hasn't been drinking, I <laughs> spill things on myself. <laughs> Sorry, my favorite oh, sweater. son of a bitch. There my it goes. favorite sweater to podcast. What's wrong with you? you I don't are? know. It's comfy. Oh, my favorite okay. lounging sweater. See, when he says his favorite, as most old men that we do, <laughs> our favorite isn't the nicest thing. Oh, that we heck have. no. The nice stuff's no fun. No. No. It's the, it's the really soft and comfy stuff. That's exactly right. Before I came tonight, I had what? a choice. I thought all I had was my nice pair of jeans that make my ass look really nice. Oh, and then yeah. I was like, those jeans. Oh, yes. you mean the I'll one that show off your crack? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, so, so they better than the short shorts. They, they have like, different interpretations. They're low, <laughs> they're low waisted for you guys. But yes. I was like, you know what? Screw you for guys outlet. tonight. I'm wearing the comfy jeans. So is you that the what? one with the big Aww. hole in the crotch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that the one where lefty airs out? No, no. These are my nice comfy jeans. Oh, not <laughs> that, your ratty. Comfy. Those were my those were my work jeans. <laughs> you work like that with the hole right there? Well, well, you're your own boss. You I, I, run around I did until it got giant that night hey, for some reason. <laughs> when you gotta sell houses, you gotta sell houses. Yeah, well, <laughs> I wasn't selling a house that day. He's moving sticks some bricks baby yeah there you go when it's cold out it's i bet it's pretty chilly you know those jeans could be could be <laughs> when it's cold out unfortunately for you chilly. guys tonight you don't get to see my nice jeans so yes i know what you're talking about ep9 mike's nice jeans that's right yeah i'd watch that star wars a star wars story i want it to be cheese ball <laughs> i want a cheese ball title the Force yeah. Awakens and Last Jedi. Last Jedi was approaching cheese ball, but not cheese ball. All right, let's uh, give our uh, our best cheese ball titles. Uh, oh man, Star Wars lightsabers a popping. Yeah. Star guess. Wars, they pooped it out. Pooped it out. They pooped it out. Yeah, poop it out. Mm. Star Wars Episode Nine. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> was that an ellipsis at the end of that? Eh. Eh. <laughs> Star Wars Episode Nine, um JJ's Revenge. Yeah. <laughs> show revenge of the JJ. Whoa. Yep. He, yep. he threw those last couple back pretty, <laughs> pretty quick. So we're well we're well into Mike territory now. <laughs> so, Ray's wait. excellent adventure. Ray's Ooh, ex I like that one. <laughs> I actually have trouble coming up with cheese ball. <laughs> Kylo's bogus jersey on, on a jersey. level. That oh George yeah, Lucas that's the sequel. <laughs> it's a two-parter. I know it's part two, part one, and part two. Yep. It's that Star 9. Wars 5. episode nine. Uh, Bantha Poodoo. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. You know, like it. Ooh. Everybody Ooh. poodoos. Jar Jar returns. Where's he been, huh? Right. Huh? That's what I'm Haven't talking Jar -Jar. about. Apparently, he's turned into Jar Jar. He's, a sad he's been the bad guy the whole time. The whole time. Episode nine, Perfect Strangers. Ooh, standing so, tall. That's the that's the whole intro. It's just the Perfect Strangers yep. theme. Yeah, change it up. With, but but John Williams orchestrates it. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. And Bronson Pincho has a cameo appearance. <laughs> as Bronson Pincho. As Bronson Pincho. <laughs> Just no, as Balky Bartakamus, ha, actually. Hello, I am Belky Bartakamus. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I will do my dance of joy now. Die, 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 die. Hey, hey, hey. I don't remember this. Ah, kids don't get that. <laughs> nope, but it's really sad how we were all right on it. <laughs> Mike, what about Star Wars? <laughs> There's also... I, do you really? Do you think we're going to get a title? Do you think they're going to wait till celebration to drop title? Of course, I don't oh, know if we're going to get one this year. No, <laughs> <laughs> they dropped I mean, the I, title like no... uh, to Last Jedi, like way before this, way before this celebration. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I think they did. They did the same thing. If you put in the same before. time frame, it would have been like a month ago. But I mean, I don't. I don't think they have any reason why they have to at this point. I mean, why not build the? You know, people talking and the excitement and everything else. I mean, why not? Yeah. They have nothing to lose at this point. I don't know. I'm still on the. I'm still in the mindset where they need to get the fans. They need to feed everybody a little bit to get everybody excited again because the fans will bleed <laughs> out to the lay. You know what I mean? Maybe. I mean, to me, celebration makes the most sense. So I yes. don't think. I don't think it's dropping before celebration. I, I'm kind of thinking the same thing at this point. If we haven't got it, I don't even think we're going to get a title and a teaser. Yeah. at the same yeah, time. That's what I think. You're going to get the title in the teaser. Yeah, yeah what? I agree. at the end of the teaser. Yep. 
I agree. John I Ratzenberger get, will come out and be like, here's here's preview. John Ratzenberger. Get, that's, that's a perfect John Ratzenberger, man. <laughs> did we get Revenge of the Sith? On. Did we get Revenge of the Sith title before Thanks. Celebration 3? Or did we get it at Celebration old, 3? Did you say Revenge of the Sith? It's been so long. Revenge of the Sith, again. apostrophe S. Sith. No. Sith yeah, that was 2005. <laughs> I don't remember. I think maybe they did. I don't remember. Yeah, got the I last Jedi trailer at the last celebration, right? Yeah, well, we I mean, we got a trailer and uh, I, I was thinking that we got the trailer and the title of Celebration 3. No, the title came out before. Okay. So we knew the title and then the trailer dropped. Yeah. And, and then they gave us a like there. entire battle sequence at the front and played it yeah. over and over and over again. And it was awesome. Yeah. Are you guys talking about the same thing? No. 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 One's, one's talking about Je- Last, Last Jedi, Jedi the other one's talking about <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. perfect. That's, hey, yeah. welcome to Fly Casual. <laughs> you know what irritates me is that you were both aware of that. <laughs> I just let it play out. Yeah, I was, I was going to say I was kind of enjoying Mike, it. Mike, but... you drink more, and Howie, you go back to surfing the web. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be audited. We can fit two podcasts into one. That's right. That's all you have to do is just overlap them. And... Yep, yep. Have a conversation. One person talking once. Subject and another person talking another subject. Okay, but I'm going to talk about the new Star Trek Multi- series. Oh, no, no, we don't do that. We, we Star don't. Trek? What? No. It's better. It's no, better no, than it was before. Parallel Parallel Luke's coming back, baby. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The multiple Star cores. Cores. Yeah. Maybe they'll do Mirror Universe, John Luke. Oh, no. Jean yeah. Luke. Jean Luc. I'm, I'm. I got my. I got a. I still have the bad taste of the Mirror Universe he, uh, Discovery last season. He's going to die in the first episode, guys. I'm just saying. Aww. <laughs> Aww. He's getting old, and I'm scared. He's He'll like, clone him, and it'll be. What is he Tom like? 112 right? now, just or like something? normal. Uh, I believe so. I believe that math checks out. Yep. Maybe 113. Because mm-hmm. we're on two. Point, yeah. We're on 213. Yeah, that works. That makes sense. Today's his 111th birthday. <laughs> 111th birthday. <laughs> I wish I remembered the toast that Bilbo gives. I know, me it's too. Greatest, Damn it. It's a great, it's great. Yeah. I love it. Something about well, that was awkward. Because yeah. <laughs> everybody's I sitting there thinking of the I like half of you as much as you deserve. Yeah, yeah that's all I can remember. <laughs> Something along those lines. <laughs> Think about busting out Lord of the Rings to watch with the kid. Yep, I I've been doing that. I've, like I've done that with my I, my daughter. We're still working on the first movie. Know. Like we'll she go an about, hour. My daughter was about no, Josie's I'm not saying age, age appropriate. I I'm just saying I don't know. If, I if think she might her. get turned off real quick. Really? See, Anna my, loved it. So. Yeah, my kids are like glued and they're like freaked out. My kid is Harry Potter obsessed, and so this Noise. is Harry Potter adjacent. It's sure. just, you know, more yeah. serious. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure. Because the opening is, you know, with, well, not the opening, but right after that, all the Shire stuff. Anyway. I can feel it in the earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you got Gladriel talking all dreamy-like. That narration at the front. <laughs> Actually, I mean, me and my daughter. To the humans. We did. We'll we above did, all, crave power. We did the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And then immediately after, she found out that, oh, we there's a. There's a Hobbit movie. Oh no! Oh no! Just go get the old like 1970s <laughs> no. animation. Apparently, we no. watched, we watched no, the first Hobbit one. movie, and she's like, "Oh, <laughs> yep." <laughs> she didn't want to watch the second one. No, after <laughs> no, you don't want to ruin Lord of the Rings for yourself. By I think watching the book the was movie. better than the movies. On that one. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's an unbiased. Yeah. Well, well that's say, and that's the amazing part. I hate the, to sound like an elitist, but the it the was. the Lord of the Rings trilogy that they made is. Is pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's top notch, and, and you know they obviously changed some stuff for the films, but it's pretty darn good. <laughs> then they got to that. Yep, it's, it's amazing when uh, that happens. It seems to happen a lot in, in movie making. Yeah, they, they have no they idea what they stop did making right movies the for a while. Gather themselves. Yeah, well, honestly, I, I gotta say that documentary that just came out. I I gotta say when people were give, having the rumor about F nine being in two parts. I was like, okay, <laughs> because that's how things happen nowadays. Not that I want it that way. I'm right. not, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. But I would not be surprised at all because that's how filmmakers do things now. Well, and you're like, well, okay, they just want to try to make it more, get more money. Yeah, and, right. And I also, mean, right. That's, how, that's what of, I know. Well, we got to happens. fix everything up. So well, then, right. they, then they screw up all of the uh, all of the episode l- numbering on on BitTorrent. And- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, it's hellacious. Yeah, it's horrible. Uh, uh, it's horrible. All right, what's going on um, outside of F9 titles? We got some uh, Star Wars video game news this week. <gasps> oh, you guys are going to be 
is so excited. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> um, no, it's I the got, exact you opposite just put of poop what you in are. my nose, Mike. Oh, yeah. no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's it's so it fell poop right in into it. <laughs> so, uh, EA <laughs> ain't going. Feel pee. I know the taste. EA ain't going nowhere, boys. Oh. Uh, wah, wah. They don't want me to buy any of their games. Yeah, so uh oh, no. <laughs> Lucas sure don't. Disney this week uh basically confirmed that uh yeah, hey, yeah, they're doing pretty good. They're doing a good job. So uh, <laughs> the two games they came yeah. out with yeah, so. in the last many years. <laughs> so I mean why? the one game and its sequel. That yeah. was exactly <laughs> the same. You know no the in the back rooms they don't really believe that. So why would they come out and say that? <laughs> yeah. Because and this is the truth. Disney does not give a rat's butt about video games. Well, that's true. They don't. They never have. If you go through the catalog of like Disney quality properties and like Whoa. say how many of these games were good. How far back? Let's go back. Let's go back 30 years. We're talking, or no, well, let's go Aladdin back 35 years. Aladdin for Sega years. Genesis was a I knew you were going to go straight to Aladdin <laughs> for Genesis. Because I was going to say, if you go back, you're going to come up with three titles that are Aladdin, atrocious. The Lion King. Yep. Lion King was good. It was mm-hmm. hard. And? It was good. Little Mermaid. Mm, there was What? <laughs> no, you just said that because you assumed. I, <laughs> I played it, and I beat it. It wasn't bad. Okay. You assumed too much. I was going to say, a lot of people talk about like a Toy Story for the Game Boy or DS or something was supposed to be decent. but Disney Infinity. Oh. <laughs> did I tell it's you? Not did, too, it's hey, not did bad. I tell you it's on the bad. podcast that uh, Amazon, what Amazon it's did to bad. me? No. Ordered the uh, ordered the Mario Odyssey for the kid's birthday, uh-huh. uh, and they're like, "Hey, you can have one day shipping." I'm like, "Cool, I'll get it here the day before her birthday." Right, and it shows up next day, and I opened up the envelope the following morning on the kid's birthday. <laughs> it was not Mario Odyssey. Oh no! <laughs> they just took a bunch of infinity figures <laughs> they, in there. No, all that I had figures <laughs> at least would have had something. No, <laughs> you got the game disc. It was <laughs> Disney Infinity 3.0 disc only. <laughs> For, wow. for the Xbox oh, One. Oh, what? A system I don't oh, even own. That's awesome. <laughs> and I got I had to wow. get on I had to get on the phone with, you know, like uh Mumbai or whatever. And the dude was really cool and he was really helpful, but you know, he was also a little too happy and optimistic about my situation. And it takes forever. He's like, okay, we get everything resolved, everything resolved. Don't have to worry about any of this. We we'll refund the money and everything will be fine. I said, Oh no, that's so racist. one problem here. Uh, one problem. Uh, I, this is my kid's birthday and we just got a blizzard dumped on us and I have to go out and get her another present, which I was not planning to do. Yeah. And also I pay for prime shipping and you have not upheld what I paid for. Yellow. So then they had to go through another 20 minute thing and I got like a $20 coupon or something like that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they couldn't, they couldn't give me like free prime. He says they can't give away free prime anymore. Like you used to be able to like squeeze a few months. Out oh, of, yeah. A couple what? months. Yeah. Well, that's Epic what he said. Mickey? I mean, I don't know. What about know. Epic Mickey? It Epic could be Mickey the person with it. the free prime, free prime USB key just wasn't in the office at that minute. <laughs> Who knows? But, uh, but yeah, they sent me Disney freaking infinity, which was an attempt was it who was it that did that? Was it Neversoft or one of those something related to the, those folks, the the Guitar Hero people? Something I don't know. Yeah. Rockstar? Uh, ro- no, it wasn't Rockstar. But that game had potential, but was off on the wrong foot from the start. Had a lot of Disney Infinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, they just, should, yeah. I don't. I don't understand why they don't do something like they did with uh, was it Kingdom Hearts. Where they do a, cl- a collaboration with a, a actual game developer like God Square forbid. Enix. Yeah, I've heard I've heard all that. over that Kingdom Hearts 3, which just came out after 15 years since Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> okay. There have been a lot of little like intermediary Kingdom Hearts games that nobody cares about, but this is like yeah. the proper sequel. And I've heard from so many people, the game's not great, but it doesn't matter. Because they've waited for it, they wanted it, it was finally delivered, and it's good enough. Oh, imagine yeah. that. People don't hate <laughs> something with a couple of flaws. You actually have to suck. Yeah, people love people that franchise. It. Like it's it's like one of the most popular franchises. Final Fantasy like and Disney. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, how well, can you go wrong? On the coattails of EA sticking around, uh, they are going to release a video game called Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order arriving not, this ooh. fall. I'm not holding my breath. It is a third, <laughs> and third person shooter again. Um, Can they do anything other than third-person shooters, do you think? 
Nope. Well, in uh, Battlefront, you can go into first person mode. Thanks, man. Eh? Thanks for being eh? there. <laughs> Dynamite drop in. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> got it. Yeah. Still got uh, it. I, I, well, I'll tell you what. I mean, I'm not a Battlefront guy. So, you know what? I'm, it's a good thing. I'd be more interested in this. Like, it's coming be. out this fall, right? Uh, or supposedly coming out this fall. And we supposedly, know nothing about yeah. it. Except like it, a brief like summary of when it takes place, yeah, and yeah. kind of w- what kind of game it is, I guess. Yeah, we have no trailers, no screens, no no. Well, we do know we have a no, title. We <laughs> <laughs> we have a title. It takes Woo-hoo! place after the events of Revenge of the Sith. We do know that's that. all, but but usually by now it's been announced. So are they going to wait till June and get into E three before they show us any footage to even? Like say we swear that we didn't make this up, yeah. or are they are they in like are they just now going to be in like a nine month crunch to make a game that barely had a proof of concept <laughs> put together because otherwise Disney's going to hold them in breach of contract or yeah. something? It's it's insane that we have not seen even a screenshot from this. I don't game. believe it really it's exists. It's insane that how long has how long has EA had this uh, exclusivity contract for Star right. Wars. They, yeah, we don't they have they only more put options. out two games and then mobile games, which yeah. are in a class of their own. So I'm not counting them. And they farm those out to other developers and stuff. Too. Yeah, I think was it Dice that did Battlefront? Or they yeah. did originally. I don't know if they did that. Yeah. And I got to tell you, I, I picked up the Battlefront Two for PC. I already had it yeah. for or for PS4, but now I never one, took it out of the cell. That one does have a story mode, right? Yes, it does. It, yeah. it has a, a, a quasi meaty campaign, a, yeah. a brief story mode. It's not super brief, but it's briefer than yeah. for five bucks it's worth. For it. five bucks, but here's the problem: I might pick it up for five bucks. No, but you got it for PC. I got it right? for, well, I have it for PS4, still in the cellophane, and then it was five bucks on PC. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna grab it there because I'd rather play it on PC. I have tried to start it up. 10, 15 times. What? <laughs> One time it started. Oh. The screen wow. never even goes to black. Origin minimizes. It sits for a second, and then Origin comes right back up again like I never did anything. It's like, so, nah, bro. What? You don't want to play that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's not the first EA game I bought on Origin, obviously, <laughs> that has that has exhibited this behavior. But it won't start. Now, other games I have on Origin, like Battlefront or Battlefield, starts every time. Yeah. But, but I can't. I couldn't get it to come up. <laughs> I, the one time I did, when I tried to match make, it put me in an empty lobby or an empty like game skirmish by myself. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> exciting! I bet you won. And I was in <laughs> there. I was in there for about ten minutes with nothing happening, and so I quit and rematch made. And then matchmaking just said it failed and threw an error at me. <laughs> and then I did it again, and I actually got into a game, and I found out what it's like. To be, have you ever seen a video where people pour molten aluminum into ant hills? I found out what it's like oh, to be yeah. one of those what? ants. Oh, I now know what it's like to be one of those <laughs> That's a ants. Video? Yeah, I, I, I have first person. I'm sorry, third person experience <laughs> of being one of the ants just being rolled on by molten metal because I was slapped around like nobody's business <laughs> in that game. And it's not because I'm old and crappy at games. Like it's just it's, it's part of it. It's Battlefront. It's yeah. Battlefront. I will say that I played through it also recently because it was on sale on PS4. The, the The story mode is decent. Yeah, it's decent. But it's way too short. And Luke is amazing. For a brief... <laughs> I know this is all old news minute. to everybody, but... Yeah. yeah, one hot minute when Luke used to be cool. Oh, it was so cool. It was so cool, Mike. You would have awesome. loved it. Damn you would have loved it, Mike. Oh, man. It's, it, it doesn't even run. I'm gonna, I want to go back and play what Jedi Academy where I can fight next to Luke, man. That's Ooh, what I that was do. fun. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. kicking around Dasan. Yeah, yeah. Wait, that was a uh, stupid Jedi Tyrannosaurus outcast. guy. That was Outcast, yes, but yeah, Jedi Academy. And Academy, he's in the opening, but I don't think you do. You ever fight alongside him? Probably. I don't remember. In Jedi Academy, you do. Yeah. yeah. There's at one point you're on a star cruiser or something, and. He's there with you for some reason. I can't remember why, but yeah, you fu- you I've, fight side by side for a few. That's cool. A few screens. So yep, those games were amazing. Yeah, yeah, they were. yeah you suck so bad. Oh my gosh! <laughs> they canceled that other game again. They recanceled it. Re recanceled it. They canceled it and said we're going to use the assets at EA Montreal. And then after a year and a half, it, they canceled that. <sighs> <sighs> they are useless because there's nothing announced after this right after this it's just like well we don't know yeah they haven't announced jack yeah nothing this is it's i 
Why? I this is the worst part about Disney owning. I don't remember if any. Disney, of, I don't think Disney cares though, do they? Disney I mean, it's all does about license. Care. It's That's li- the for, li- yeah. for Disney, it's licensing. That's they don't the care. It's money. Yeah. They Whoa. don't care. And that's I, I don't remember if I expressed that reserve back when Disney bought Lucasfilm right before we started this podcast. I don't remember if I said that then. My only fear is that the games will suck from now on. Right. But as soon as they made that deal with EA, we all knew this was going to happen. It's just yeah. somehow surpassing our expectations of crapitude. So, so does EA just pay out no matter what every year? or The licensing has to have a flat fee attached to it in some way. Yeah. But you would think that, I mean, Disney would also want some of the cut of sales and are like, hey, where's the... <laughs> we? I don't know. It's probably a drop in the bucket. They, they don't, So they don't even really care that much. But... Ugh. Lame. So lame. <sighs> so lame. Uh, you know what's not lame? The Mandalorian. Woo, that's totally not lame. Totally not. It's the opposite. Totally not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to get this right. Here we okay. go. Ready? Here we go. Uh, oh boy. T- Here we go. T- you got the finger on the Get it out of the way. Get it out of the way right now. Taika Watiti. I think that's about as good as you can get on that. Name. I think it's Waikiti, isn't it? Yeah. Y-T-T. Isn't there a K in there? No, it's Waititi. I'm gonna mm. Google. Taika Waititi. Waititi. Yeah. That doesn't feel right. T A I K A. Taika, Taika, Waititi, W A I. Yeah, you're right. T-I-T-I. The K is only in the in the first name. Yeah. Mm. Taika Waititi. Mike probably Y-T-T. got relatively close. <sighs> Somebody had to do Mike it. Mike got re- got <laughs> relatively close. <laughs> All right. So Taika Waititi is known for uh, uh, Thor Ragnarok. Woo! Good movie. Fame. And uh, good, good movie. movie. And he's doing the next Guardians. Good movie. Oh, is he really? Yeah, he's taking over after the James Gunn yeah, yeah, yeah. firing. I, I, I was actually, I, was, I remember hoping that whoever did that, I didn't know it was the name That's of the guy at the time. But he did yeah, funny I was going to say, too. yeah, I yeah, might yeah. may as well since yeah. you can't have James Gunn. But uh, womp, womp. anyway, Taika Waititi is also um, directing some episodes of The Mandalorian. And uh, Gizmodo is reporting that uh, recently he was interviewed and uh, was asked about his involvement in the Star Wars universe. And uh, basically, in short, he said that uh, he is going to kind of keep the the tone um, of the original trilogy, the OT. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Uh, I, you know, in these, and I, I, it, it, I think made it sound like that, that that's kind of John Favreau's, you know, um, influence there that that's kind of the route he wants to take. So um, I thought that was pretty, yeah, I, I was pretty glad sweet. to hear that. Yeah. You know, um, I, to me, that's the stuff that's been working lately. The stuff that really keeps to that tone, the rogue one, right? Right. Um, like even one. solo. I mean, I think I like solo, solo is, he keeps with that tone the of the original trilogy. So um, I think that's the stuff that people have responded. Well, solo, maybe not so much because it, it wasn't. I like um, solo. I do too. I watched it again this weekend. Me too. I have not. I have plans. I constantly have intentions too, but I still have to finish Punisher and Miss Maisel. It's fun. So much. I know. By the way, I started Miss Maisel. Four days ago, he announced he is not directing Guardians 3. Little correction. Oh, no. Correction. But today they announced they will be using James Gunn's script. Soon. Oh, well, that's something. Okay. I don't think. I'm sorry. I don't want to get it on a James Gunn discussion, but I don't know why they don't just give it back to yeah, just yeah. It's been long. Uh, enough. It's been like four months, right? So just sneak them on. Well, we know it. that it doesn't matter if you say you're sorry anymore. We just crucify everyone for everything, even if you did it. Um, Climb down off the cross. We 10, need the 20, word. 30 years ago. It doesn't matter. Just crucify <laughs> everyone. Letter Kenny. Line up. <laughs> did we ever uh, talk about the composer they picked for uh, Mandalorian? Yeah. Who'd they pick, Mike? I don't know. This isn't my what? deal. I didn't bring it up. You Howie with the news. Have. Yeah, we did. We did talk about yeah, it. Yeah, because Ludwig Ludwig remember that. amazing Viking name. Gorenson. Ludwig. That's right. Lud- yeah. Ludwig. 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 That's right. I remember yeah. talking about it now. Yeah, it was amazing. You should have listened. Yeah. <laughs> I should have. Black Panther and Creed and Creed 2 and Venom. Yeah. You know, yeah. Okay. And Community and New and Girl. Community. My kid keeps asking to watch Venom. Ooh, New Girl. My really? eight-year-old daughter 
And I'm like, where did you even hear about? That? I don't know if it's like a YouTube commercial she caught or what. School, uh, but she school. knows it's related to Spider Man. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, no. Yeah, and then she's like, she wants to watch Deadpool. I'm like, you ain't even watching the PG-13 version of Deadpool, child. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! I don't know what's going on in the world, man. Everything's just going to pot. Yeah. Kids nowadays, what the hell? They hell in a handbasket, damn it! Kids think superhero movies are for them, little bastards. <laughs> Back in the, my day, speaking of the Mandalorian, John we Favreau, had to this the Terminator Two, flippity gibbet. This past week, <laughs> shared a photo from the set that uh, people were tweaking on. I'm still uh, tweaking. Favreau shares a photo of R five D four. Yeah, Woo. or what appears to be R five D four anyway. Aww. Definitely an R five unit. Definitely back when his Definitely. motivator was still working. What? No, this would be after. This is the after? future, yo. This is the future, yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, I guess so. Yeah. after his motivator had been repaired. It. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that bad motivator. He still got some, some sand leaking out of a couple holes. It looks like yeah. just a motivator. They can find one anywhere, right? right. Well, if they're mm-hmm. motivated. Yeah. <laughs> One had to do it. They didn't just throw it. Do they go to Tashi? Yeah. Pick up some power converters and uh, motivators. And Luke never got to go to Tashi. Are we sure we know when the Mandalorian takes place? Because he's also shared a picture of IG-88. It's post-Return of the Jedi. Then how does IG-88 exist? Because that can uh, 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 legend novel does not exist. Yeah, right. Oh, right. He was he didn't actually become part of the Death Star. Court. We've gotten far enough away <laughs> that it's all blur. It's all re blurred again. Even then, there was like eight of them, right? IG eighty eight. Yes, them right. Away. That's, that's what was, I was just gonna say was that he was one of many. So IG eighty eight was the best de- best Death Star. <laughs> he was the best. Yeah, of best. The, of I, Death I want to know wow, more about this because I don't of know the anything three about this. Three in movie canon. And like oh man, now four he does five. Five. I agree. Why not? <laughs> IG-88 Death Star is the best Death Star. Isn't it sad, though, that he He's took like, over oh, right before I'm Luke kills him? I've learned everything. <laughs> I'm one with the universe. Yeah. And then the Death Star explodes. <laughs> it's the most poetically hilarious story in all of Star Wars. As him downloading himself into the computer going, hey, this is up. <laughs> <laughs> now I am the ultimate power in the galaxy. <laughs> For <Aww>. like, yeah. <laughs> For an astro Intruder second. Alert. What now? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, so yeah. Okay. IG-88. All right. IG eighty eight still up and about. That's I can, good. I can deal with that. I can. I can work with that. All right. This last one. I don't know. I don't know if uh, Garrick was going to cover this and his or not. So I'm going to step on his feet in case he. How? In case he did. So and I'm not even going to care. Oh. Um. There is a prop store auction coming up here. What? Very soon. And uh, Sweet. this particular auction will feature items from the set of The Return of the Jedi. <gasps> and uh, one of the uh, uh, items that is coming up go. here is uh, some action figures, actually, that was given to uh, one of the crew on Return of the Jedi. Um, it says these items were from Return of the Jedi producer Howard. Oh, here we go. Get, get Put your finger on the button. Kazanjian. <laughs> Nailed it. Kaz and Gian. I'm not looking uh, at it. I can't I can't rightfully hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> so uh anyway, uh these particular figures uh, these were original. Um there's a Luke Skywalker, a Princess Leia, a Chewbacca, Sweet. and an R2 D2. These are the original um Kenner line. I love figures. those R2s. Ooh, they don't look classic. anything like him. I love I know, them so I know. Much. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> They're like Is just the cyan. <laughs> They're just cyan colored, so he don't, never fades with age. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, and, and it, can, it, it comes in the, the white. Um, I think they, if you remember back, uh, well, or maybe you've heard this, because this goes way back. This goes to the, the very first line of toys that Kenner produced. Not, none of us were alive. I know, but you might know the story. Oh, okay. That yeah. uh, when when the movie came out, they didn't have any of the toys produced yet, and you could go to the store and get the card back. Yeah, they yeah. had all yeah. of them listed there, and you could or pre-order them. Basically, here you go. Well, buy some you, paper. Kids. If you did that, if you were one of the the few that did that, and you ordered them, they came in the mail in this white carton, and uh, that's how these yeah. are preserved. So um, this is a pretty neat. Uh, they're still in the plastic, auction. even. Yeah, I know. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? As a Lunchables, yeah. it probably tastes terrible. How much is that going to send me back, Mike? 
How much uh, I got to Let's see. It's expected to sell for $30,000. Oh. Or more. <laughs> <laughs> Garrick, if you sold all the crap in your toy room, you might be able to afford it. <laughs> <laughs> be close. Yeah. Maybe yeah, throw in a kidney or two. dollars But yeah, How these are kidneys? pristine kidneys. Do I just need one kidney? Is that all I need? Uh, if that. Who really? needs a kidney? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. If you they think got machines it. to do that nowadays, right? Yep. That's right. So well, we, hell, according to the Star Wars universe, all you have to do is cut out your brain and put it into a little spider droid. I'm doing it. I don't need this dumb right? body. Yep. You so can be, stupid. You can be you one of the Bomar monks. Monk. The Bomar monks. That's right. Yeah, nice. Dude. That's how they freak themselves. The Java's palace. It's nice in this new world and new canon when I can reach back to my old knowledge and still, <laughs> still remind listeners that I actually do know a few things about Star Wars, <laughs> even though most of the time I'm just sitting here quietly while you guys are talking. I never say a word. I mean specifically about what? new details and things. Oh, god. Gotcha. Like comics and stuff. Well, boys, that's all I had for news. Oh, no, already? What? Already. That means it's time for the Porkins Bite to the Wee. Again. I don't know if y'all know this, but George Lucas, the man what invented the Star Wars. Oh, yeah, that guy. He's an avid oh. art collector. Oh, yeah, he is. What? Collector of many things. In oh, fact... Me. He's a big fan of Norman Rockwell. You know, oh. the dude what did the cover illustrations for the Saturday Evening Post? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Him and Steven Spielberg donated 57 of Rockwell's paintings and drawings to the museum, the Smithsonian, and where they were on display. And he has one hanging over his personal workspace. Oh. And that, oh. my friends, is probably why Norman Rockwell was a character in the Young Indiana Jones series. <laughs> That's right. Was he really? Yep. I watched a few of those. My daughter was into that for a short time. They're still decent. It's just they're slower than yeah, they because could, TV yeah. didn't couldn't have that right. cinematic pace. Back right. Then. Right. I like the ones more when he was a teenager rather than when he was a little kid. Well, he was there was only like one where he's a little kid. But yeah. It's like two hours long. Right. right. Yeah. It's I know, it seemed it's like right. there were thirty like, of them. Right. Some of them were like movie length. Some of them. But weren't. then it seemed like it jumped. I mean, the very next episode, it jumped and like, oh, he's oh, he's okay. He's yeah. Older. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's a lot old. Older. He has an eye patch. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That was when those aired. My biggest problem is that seeing old Indy with the eye patch. <laughs> I was like, was what it, is this? I, I, it, this Please. may be the Mandela effect or whatever, but like, was there one episode where he was pulling into a parking space and someone took it from him and he got out and he's like, ah, let me tell you a story about something that has nothing to do with this. Dude, that was every episode. <laughs> it's like, so, like he'd be like walking through a museum and someone would sneeze and go, speaking of sneezing. <laughs> You know, Let me tell you about Egypt and the pyramids. Dilly-loo, dilly-loo, dilly-loo. There was on the Nile. <laughs> Not a snake in sight, by Jove. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, hey, you guys want to talk about toys? <laughs> Not one of these links. Oh, that I you do. Let me work, Carrick. So oh we're boy, gonna, we're going to be in the dark we're here. We're flying blind <laughs> for the toy <laughs> room. Oh man, yeah, y'all didn't get my email. I got it. All right, I put them in there, but uh, yeah. It's yeah. not coming up. Uh, if they so were guys, named, if they were named anything that uh, I understood, I would just Google these things. <laughs> I, Mike, it's because I, you copy and paste them incorrectly. I included the I must link. Have. I included yeah. the link because if you delete guys, the googly garp at the end that you copied and pasted into, it works. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, so you got schooled. It's not so working. So guys, for you remember me. those? Uh, you remember this uh, YouTube series called uh, Galaxy of Adventure? Yes. Ventures. Yes. I oh, yeah, it did work. This is one, one adventure. So they came out with some more uh, adventures. Just check them out. They're really good. It's really like that, that anime-based, like, uh, five, four or five-minute shorts. Thank you for clarifying for those of yeah. us who don't. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They're really cool. And then they came out with a toy line to go along with this series. They come in tubes. I do like the tube toys. With the, uh, the little mini comic. Mm-hmm. Howie knows. They're like, hey, the this tubes. crap didn't sell. Put it in a tube. Put, Put it in a, in a tube. tube. Slap a yeah, comic so, uh, in there, baby. Now they've announced uh, they're coming out with a second wave of tubes. New tubes. More tubes. For the YouTubes. More tubes. Two tubes. Like Edrio, you know, from Rogue One. Yeah. Yeah. These but are, he's not are one these of the tubes. Three and three quarter or six inch? 
These are three and three quarter. So these are literally just three and three quarter action figures slapped in. I mean, they're clearly not based <laughs> on the style of the YouTube series it, series yeah, in any way whatsoever. They're totally they are, not repacks from earlier uh, waves. No, wait, they, I mean, Shut they're up. not even. It's funny because they're a repack. You look at the Obi Wan. He's standing next to his tube, and like he doesn't even have the same hairstyles he has on the tube. What, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, like they didn't repacks. even. It's just unabashed, but I still kind of like it. They're kind of cool. I mean, I like the art style personally. I know you guys are. Don't like the animes. If you don't but, like the uh, art yeah. style, enjoy the non-stylized action figure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Best of both worlds there. Everybody's happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we got a Ray. She comes with her lightsaber, bow staff, and blaster. It's pretty cool. We got a Kylo Ren. Huh? Mind you, mind you, the Ray is the gray tunic Ray from The Last Jedi, but yeah. the Ray in the cartoon is the brown tunic Ray <laughs> yeah. from The Force Awakens. It is. Wow. It has, wow. it, on the, yeah, on the cover, yeah, same thing. It, mm-hmm. it doesn't match the figure. It's hilarious. Yep. <laughs> so, like, like you mentioned, you got an Obi Wan, but we also got some good ones. Got a Darth Maul. Maul. I, like Darth, Maul. I like Darth Maul figures personally. Got a uh, General Grievous. I like Grievous. Yeah. Yeah. You're a boy. And then one. of course the best one. Yep. One Boba Fett. I'll buy Boba that Q one. Fett. I'd Boba buy Fett that tube. One. Boba Fett tube, everybody. How much are these tubes? Ten bucks. Well, that's better than the twelve ninety nine that Target is currently <laughs> charging. The same figure. Yeah. Yeah. It's twelve ninety nine Target's Boba charging Fett. right now for a regular three and three quarter inch figure, which is yeah. why which is why Target's full of merchandise. <laughs> Nothing's yeah. moving. Yeah. Um <laughs> but Go Ten to Walmart. bucks with a comic, you're close. You're close. If this was yeah, like seven ninety nine, I'd probably go buy a couple right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's I mean, finish uh, the podcast first. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. At least see it to the end, man. Come on. We got popcorn and come out at the end. You don't want to miss it. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. So check these out. They should be out in retail stores at some point <laughs> next week. I guess I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're they're pretty cool. Crack I like that Darth Maul and here. Boba Fett a lot. Also, Jenner Grievous is awesome, so I probably will pick those up. Glad they're going back to the prequels and stuff. That's I might cool. pick up the Maul and the Boba. Yeah. I I can't resist a Boba Fett. If I see it on the shelf, I It's kind of hard to yeah, resist that. That's my addiction. Stop resisting. It's my crack. If Stop you cracking. Stop wearing crack. Mike's uh, crack kills. good butt jeans. Yeah. Uh, show my crack. So, guys, hey, you know that we got a uh, Valentine's Day coming up. Sure do. Oh, yeah. You're looking uh, to buy your sweetheart something nice. Well, good news. I got better act for fast you. if you're listening to you this. Can get, <laughs> you can get a dozen roses for $20. But, Garrick, I can drive down. $20 I for can a drive dozen down roses. That's really to good. To the fresh market and get a dozen roses <laughs> for $13.99. No, wait a minute. Why no, would no. I spend twenty dollars on your dozen roses? That's ridiculous. Well, I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> these aren't just any roses. Yeah, roses is is. Are they are <laughs> they are they like uh, are they pink roses or like like no. like the frosted tipped they're roses? They're kind of yellowish. Yellowish. They're uh, tico, yellow roses. Tico roses. Yeah, yellow. rose tico. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, what now? From the last Jedi. It's a dozen rose ticos. What? Rose Corey? tico. I don't understand. So, Rose Tico. Wait a minute. And by yellow, I meant her outfit. By the way, her, what yeah. what what kind of Rose Tico are we talking? From the action figure. The action so figure you get, is it? What kind of action figure? A a black series six inch action figure. <laughs> you can get twelve of them for twenty dollars. Twelve now for wait the a price minute. of one. Now wait yeah. a half on Entertainment Earth right now. I love right this, now. by the way. <laughs> they, uh, I love the, the, the original retail on this. <laughs> yes. $240. Yep. $240. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, well, that's 20 yeah, times that's 12 times 20. 20. Yeah, right. Yep, nailed it. Yeah. Mike, Mike used to be an accountant, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so every now and then he has to do a weird flex for us. <laughs> I, I love the advertisement for this because it shows 12 rose figures on uh, 12 actual roses. <laughs> the bottom it says, actual rose flowers not included. Oh. <laughs> Honest and the, the, the different poses. The Honest roses are in different poses. When I first yeah, heard one about looks this, like her back hurts and one looks like she's, uh, <laughs> When I first heard about this, I honest to God was tempted to buy this. <laughs> Twenty bucks. And I mean, then get a vase bad, right? and actually like arrange the rose figures <laughs> right here on the podcast table. Uh. I you should have. Have to. I'm should've. very upset that you didn't. Yeah. This yeah. is like the best deal in action figures right now. Is it right though? Now. 
Best deal in it action. Get, I mean, is it though? Even even yeah. though is yeah. it, who, yeah. who here in the co- Black who here in the company can can, uh, can authorize that? We need to make that happen. Yeah, that's uh, like you, Mike. Me. That's like a little yeah, more than a dollar a figure. You got right? the you got all the. I'm budget. just an intern. They never made me full account. Maybe we should do advertisements. We we should start doing ads. Adverti- oh, uh, Dollar yeah. Shave Club. You yeah, can make your uh, own website. And, yeah. And do listen thing. to books. L- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen to, to books. books. <laughs> it's the freaking books already. Come, Come on. <laughs> ah. Yeah, go read the New Yorker or something. Yeah, that's, that's one, right? I don't know. Probably, that's yeah. probably right. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Portillos. Do you need? Oh, <laughs> oh if we got sponsored by Portillos, they pay me in beef. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't need the money. The Portillos, we're getting Sweet. the Portillos. That's how I pay your mom, Gary. We're finally getting the Portillos, Aww. baby. And beef. Yeah, in like 30 years. Probably. Yeah. It's going to take ah, them longer gotcha. to demolish that Sears than it will to build we'll the have, Portillos. We'll have like five by then. <laughs> Shut up. You yeah. know what? You know what? None of what? them will be as close to your house as this one will be to mine. Oh, that's a good point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Unless. No. It is. No. Because you're moving to Fort Wayne. Yeah, no. <laughs> His wife will never do that I'd again. rather die. <laughs> Jeez, what's wrong with Fort Wayne? It's better. Yeah. Yeah. Likes bad things. You have to likes ask. very bad things. You have to ask. If, I can't tell you, okay? I mean, <laughs> you should know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Hey, guys, we got new Hot Wheels coming out. Hey! Hot Wheels character cars. It got revealed. All right, a, I'll get excited purely because this is always such a train wreck. Oh, I love hot. No, 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 no. This is going to be better. No, this is great. Than yeah, popcorn. Hold on. So this hold is on, good Sam. stuff. I have to adjust. This the is good link. stuff. So we got three <laughs> yeah, new too. Hot Wheel uh, designs coming out. Maybe four. I don't know. I can't tell what the bottom ones are in this picture. But we got a uh, R five D four Hot Wheel car. Yeah, you mentioned him earlier, right? <laughs> so yeah, or him or her? I don't know. I don't want to assume gender. Why oh is he? And then we got a uh, R two Q five. R two Q five. Of course, gets the a car. creme de la creme of Hot Wheel cars. Character one, <laughs> Jar Jar Binks. Hot Wheel car. Jar Jar J. Jar Jar Jingleheimer F- Binks. Binks. <laughs> his name is my name too. Yeah, it is. Whenever no, we go out, his name is Misa. The name people too. always shout. <laughs> <laughs> Misa Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, um, it's a Jar Jar car, guys. Actually, Jar-Jar. the funny thing is that's one of the better looking cars. <laughs> <It's pretty> <laughs> <funny> <laughs> actually, looking. it looks like way better than a lot of these. I like it's how the like back is his tongue. Yeah, I was gonna, no, I think the back hood is his ear. Yeah. I know, yeah, but yeah, it looks like ears. his tongue. <laughs> Maybe his tongue's in the front. You can't see the front in this picture. Maybe his tongue's How do you know the front's his tongue? No, front. it's a battle damage. If you ram him into a wall, he pops back <laughs> and his tongue sticks out. <laughs> you remember the battle damage cars? Where you like ram them yeah. and the oh, door yeah. would flip around oh, like yeah. the He-Man figures. Yeah, yeah the, the, the He-Man yeah. ones were the best, though. They were, I, except I when, he the would, when it wouldn't stay. Yeah. Then it was, it was yeah. like, oh, this then is Then it was useless. broken. Yeah, now He-Man just looks beat up all the time. Oh, sucks. So yeah, check out those Hot Wheel cars. They should be out any time now. I might get a Jar Jar car just to get be, a Jar Jar car. To, you know you want it. Guy. Jar Jar car. You know you want the sake of a Jar Jar. Car. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Why not? So finally, guys, we got uh, some pop corner. Oh. And by hey. the way, Funko won uh, an awesome award five years in a row. Uh, it is the best the Funko toys We are the best ever. company that we are award. We are toy the line of the year for we are the 2018. Children. Heck we are yeah, the ones dude. who make a brighter They're day. They're cranking them out. Yep. They so just came out with giving. Avatar the Last Airbender pops, and I've been buying those up. <sighs> yeah, know. dude, I haven't seen them yet. I saw um, one out, one on. I got, I got an Azula. <laughs> Here I saw how I called him on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the and worst. You are the worst. <laughs> oh boy. You, I want to start calling you M Knight. A JJ Abrams. You call me my name. Yeah, yeah. Pop, or Pop I will is coming out with Soka their, uh, you in the face. Oh, <laughs> I did it again. Mean I did it twice. Do they mean Soka? Uh, no. Ong and Sokka were both no, their names Soka. in the movies. Because we like to change the, the names. They pronounced for no it reason. Soka, didn't they? Oh, yeah, that's right. It was Soka <laughs> in the movie. You're <laughs> right. Thank you. All the Thank dumb you. Names. Yeah, that's Sokka the in the show. Yeah. So yeah. Pop's coming out with this new director line uh, where they make directors of movies into Funko Pops. Isn't that just wonderful? They just announced a new filmmaker 
everybody's favorite Star Wars director, J.J. Abrams. J.J. T. Abrams. J.J. Abrams gets a Funko Pop before George Mother F. and Lucas. <laughs> Wow. I can't believe it. I am Probably so because pissed. JJ gave them permission faster. Well, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Lucas hey. is like, I don't know what to pop. Yeah, C- hello, Cloverfield. Pop. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. George Lucas directed Lost. Everything. Hello. Everything uh-huh. or very little. <laughs> Red Tails. Yeah, he did. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. All time mm-hmm. great. He yeah. produced Indiana Jones, I guess. I don't know what else he did. Yeah. 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 Star Wars. Oh, huh? My dear Lord, they're, Hope? they're making a Paul Feig. Oh, I bet that one's a dandy. <laughs> I bet he has this little his little uh, tie. Yeah, he's yeah. got a little tie in his yeah. glasses, a little yeah. tweed jacket. Yeah, so if you like collecting action figures of directors, man, this is right I, up your I, alley. There's, I there's can't a market. Wait. There's a market for this, admittedly. Yeah, admittedly, yeah. I don't mind that. Yeah. To be honest with you, I've been uh, trying to keep my eyes open for the Overwatch pops. I don't see them anymore. Oh, I just got a uh, Anna. Oh, did you? Yeah, I uh, I've been I've I've only looked at a couple of stores, but I need to go to the mall. I need to actually go yeah. into the mall. You got to go to Hot Topic, man. Hot Topic, yeah. Hot the, Topic the, is the place. What's Think that Geek. Nerd HQ or something place? Think Geek has a lot. Think of Geek, them. well, Think Geek would be the other. Box Lunch has a Nerd lot. HQ. Box Lunch, Think Geek. There was one Target. over by the fountain. It was called like Nerd something mm. or Den of Geek. Was that? No, that's a website. Oh. I don't remember. Target has a lot. It might not be there anymore. That's it was, where, it was Target has horrible. a uh, exclusive Genji. Target had oh, none as of last night here, oh. or at least the Target. That well, tar- I went to. Target's uh, their stock does not refresh. They did very have well. they did have several George and Wheezy Jefferson two packs. <laughs> Seriously, That's absolutely, insane. and you don't. <laughs> I'm ashamed to admit how close I was. <laughs> the only reason why I didn't is because they're pop vinyl, so they don't look. You don't look at them and go, "Hey, that's George Jefferson and Wheezy Jefferson." It's not immediately clear. It's just like there's a couple of people that look like they are 30 years out of date or 40 years out of date. You know what I mean, dress wise. So I didn't. That's the only reason I didn't. I was very close. <laughs> they also had a Mitch and Cam from Modern Family. Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I don't know about the modern family ones. I don't know. I I I don't, I, I don't know. I like the show. It's all right. Yeah, it's a good show. I don't know about collecting. You could get a George R. I'd R. rather Martin have Pepper too. from Modern Family. <laughs> yes. Get my Nathan Lane on. <laughs> Heck yeah. Pepper and uh, what's his what's his boyfriend's name? Oh. Fernando or something. Yes, Pepper and Fernando. Oh yeah, <laughs> they are amazing. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, good stuff. Yeah, so See, that's all I got we're for toys. slowly bringing Corey. To the right yep. side. I've, I've, mm-hmm. I've, I love to hate on pops because of how much you guys love them. <laughs> we but know. I just, I still don't like the baseline normal person pop because they don't, they're not, unless they have like a crazy costume, it's not immediately clear who they are. Yeah. Well, and the nice thing is, is they're, they're getting better at it. They are. They're definitely yeah. getting, so, they're, they're taking a little more detail into account without betraying their style. But it's but like, that's yeah. why I like the Overwatch ones. All the yeah. Overwatch characters are so outlandish right. looking that they're immediately right. So if you've the Avatar got a, ones are really good. Just a plain mm-hmm. person that you're doing, it's kind of hard to, you know, make yeah. them look yeah. distinct. Like J.J. Abrams, they just threw some glasses on him and cr- put a curl in front of him, his yeah. head. You think you think I can get Woody Harrelson to to sign that that Beckett figure that I texted you guys? Yeah, dude. You should. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't actually buy it, but at Target they also had uh, just for the crowd. They have like Mebos now, or is that what they're called? Mebos the the what? old the old cloth style action figures from back in the sixties. Oh, am Migo, get, uh, yeah, yeah. Is am I getting that wrong? They're not Amiibos. Not Amiibos. Migos. 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 I was saying yeah. Amiibos. Migos. Um, and then they have a bunch of other similar, like off brand ones too. And they had, they have classic TV. Like I've seen Tootie from Facts of Life there for months. Yeah. Uh, and I've, I had such a crush on her when I was a kid. I was so tempted to pick that up. But they actually had uh, Woody from Cheers. <laughs> and I, oh, I was That's so close. Awesome. I was, I'm just such a cheapskate, but I was so close. If they'd had a Cliffy, if they'd had Cliff, from Cheers, I would have bought it immediately so I could get it signed by John Ratzenberger at Celebration. John Ratzenberger. That's I'm right. John Ratzenberger. Ham from... This that's exactly how he like. sounds. Coming up, the He's trailer a, for Star Wars Episode Nine. Cliff Clavin, Ham from Toy Story, and dude, what says a few things in Empire Strikes Back, John Ratzenberger yeah. is going to be at Celebration. That's the biggest news that you guys didn't cover. 
I thought he was dead. No, nah, man, he's still kicking. I thought he was dead. Don't you follow he's social media? Alive. He's a prominent Republican. Oh. I think. Yeah. What? I, I think. I think I remember reading some conservative things that he was. He's anyway, prominent something. I uh, I plan to get his autograph. I do not wait in line to pay money for autographs. The only time you I've will. ever paid money for an autograph, autograph is because there was nobody in the line and we were sitting there joking with the guy anyway. And I had that action figure that was the character he played and it was just very all perfect moment, right? Right. I will stand in line for an hour to get John Ratzenberger's autograph because Cheers is like my favorite sitcom of all freaking time. And of it's Star all Wars time. time. So I got all time. I got a picture, like a, a poster. I need to get it framed. It's a little poster that is uh, that is from the background of Cheers. Uh, it, it, it's a replica. It's not that, but it was actually part of the set. I get it framed, mm. and I'm going to have him sign you it. You didn't get the real thing. Nice. No, it's not the real thing at all. It's just a print. <sighs> so, wrong but, with you. here's a question. Here's a question. Do I have him sign the glass, or do I uh, take it out of the frame and have him sign? Take it? that out. I think so. Take it out. I think you're right. Take it glass out. breaks, man. Yeah. Especially yeah. in this room over here. Every glass breaks. John Ratzenberger, your tauntaun will freeze before it reaches the first marker. That's the guy. I don't know that that was his voice, but that was his. That was supposed to be that character, I believe. So I'm I think, excited. I think you're full of it. That was not him. You don't he's think the one, so? He's the one that told the princess that the door, the the doors had to be closed. I know, but wasn't he the one also arguing with Han when he was trying to get out there? I will kill you right now. No, it's not. <laughs> probably not. I will. It's, it's totes not. You know, whenever you do this, you know I Google and cast shame <laughs> upon your house. Oh, you try to cast shame. You never, you never do it though. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna kill you. Totes my goats. You know what? Oh. I don't even need to prove this online. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back next week, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna I slam you. Do we have any hashtags? I don't think we had any hashtags, did we? Who knows? We don't keep track of anything. Who's hashtags. taking notes? <laughs> The listeners keep a better record than us because they actually listen to the whole episode. The notes. Some of them. The notes. Speaking of listening to the whole episodes, we're glad that you actually managed to pull that off this time. Uh, if you've reached this point now. So we'd like you to do a couple other things. We'd like you to subscribe to us on the YouTube. Tubes. The YouTube Fly Casual Podcast on the YouTube where there is a stream of content going up on the regular uh, different segments that we do during the show, broken up into bite-sized chunks so that you don't have to risk mm. all of Mike's F-bombs okay. in your kids' ears if you mm. just want to list, have them hear one part, like mm. the poop part. Just one F-bomb. Yeah, we just only the, do like just... one or two per episode. It's okay. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Unless Mike gets drunk and then... Wait, no, yeah, well, then wait, it just what? falls apart in the best possible way. <laughs> so, And then while you're at it, would you run out to wherever you get the podcast and give us a nice little review? If you want to follow along... Uh, while you're listening, you can also, uh, if you're not watching uh, on YouTube, if you're listening, you can uh, go to the website, betterkind.com, and check out the show and click on the links. Some of them work sometimes and uh, yeah. and see what we're looking at when we're talking about it because, you know, audio be audio. In the meantime, anybody got anything else? No, oh, man, that's it. All right. I went through that pretty quick for a change. So I'm Corey. Over there's Mike. Nighty night. Over there's Howie. <laughs> Over there's Garrick. George Lucas needs a pop. He does. That's my Kickstarter. Yep. Right now, I'm starting and Pepsi or Coke. And is and, it, and it, instead of having a bobble head, Coke. it needs to have a bobble belly so it can shake like a bowl full of jelly. Pepsi. No, jelly. Not Pepsi. Pepsi jelly. Not Pepsi. Pepsi Santa Claus? If George Lucas Rocky was in your living room Rocky. wearing a Santa suit, would you bat an eyelash? I'd sit on that lap. Yeah. Legit. Totes.